are redesigning legacy user interfaces with 21st century keypad technologies webinar. My name is Kendall Paradise and I'm the president of Epic Engineered Technologies. Before we get started, I just want to let you all know that you will be muted during the presentation. If you have any questions as we move along, please enter them into the questions panel located in the webinar control panel and we'll try and get to them all at the end of the presentation. Also, we will be recording this webinar and we will be posting both the recording and the slides on our website and YouTube channel. Our presenter today is Jim Long, our Director of Engineering of User Interface Division in Largo, Florida. Jim's knowledge and extensive experience within the electronic in industry brings profound insight across all aspects of custom user interfaces and industry serves. Jim has spent his entire career in, in different roles in the avionics, um, avionics industry. Since coming to Epic, he has provided, um, provided us with over 16 years of electronics experience industry specializing in avionics, and we're very excited and proud to have Jim as part of our team. So with that, I'll turn it over to Jim. Well, thank you very much, Kendall. I appreciate everybody attending. Welcome. Um, like Kendall said, I'll be discussing the redesigning uh, legacy user interfaces to uh, current technologies that are used today. So I just want to give a brief introduction. Um, during this webinar, we're going to explain how EPIC can provide uh, de design and engineering support um, to support legacy um, interfaces and keypad technologies, again, to upgrade them to current technologies. Um, some of the things that I'll be discussing during this presentation will be um, updating these user interfaces using rigid, rigid flex, and flex printed circuit cards, um, updating some of the indication and backlighting uh, technologies from, say, incandescent lights to LED fiber optic and or electroluminescent uh, solutions. And then we'll briefly discuss some obsolescence issues as well as how Epic can help you with, with old technology or phased out technology. So to begin the presentation, I just want to kind of briefly explain, explain membrane switch uh, technology, which is some of the legacy technologies that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, again, many of these older switch, switch technologies do use a membrane-style switch, uh, just to give a, a general idea of how that, that technology works. Um, this keypad is actually designed using two polyester sheets that has silver epoxy uh, traces printed, screen printed onto those. Um, these two opposing polyester sheets are stacked on top of each other and then when the button is pressed it actually completes the circuit by moving the top layer uh, in contact with the lower layer. And on the uh, right there you'll see kind of an example of the stack up that, that we see and use. So some of the design limitations that you have with a membrane style switch, um, you know, sometimes you can select the, uh, you'll have material selection issues, you'll so have material selection that's incorrect uh, and that could cause premature failures of this assembly. Um, a lot of times you'll have electronic component mounting issues. Um, you'll have failure of these components uh, due to incorrect handling and possible envir environmental conditions um, and shear stress. Um, a lot of other times you have component real estate limitations as well. Um, most of the printed epoxy layers um, on these membrane assemblies actually consume most of the area, so the buttons and the circuit traces consume the area, so there's no room for other components on that layer. Uh, and then also we, we've been running into um, high density connector limitations. Um, a lot of the newer technologies, the surface mount technologies are actually requiring a connector density that's under uh, one mil pitch. So what we've, what we've done is we, we've actually been moving away from a lot of the membrane style technologies and moved into more of a rigid uh, PCB type technology that kind of upgrades the design. Um, this eliminates a lot of the material selection issues because we can use standard PCB materials uh, and we can get very, very minimum thicknesses down to ten thousandths of an inch and up. Uh, we also remove a lot of the electronic component mounting issues because the printed rigid circuit card um, is resilient to environmental conditions and it also is self-supporting by design so it doesn't require a back plate and it doesn't have some of the handling limitations that the membrane style switches have. We also 
<clears throat> gain some real estate uh, for additional components. Um, the components can be placed on the back side of these rigid printed circuit boards, like you can see in the picture below. Um, and also, these components are soldered directly to the board itself. And we also alleviate some of the high density connector limitations that we see with membrane style switches. Um, we can go down, again, under the one mil pitch. Uh, we can have various different configurations of, of connectors that can be selected. They could be through hole, surface mount, um, left locking type connectors. I mean, we're, we're kind of endless in regards to the connectors that can be selected for this style of design. There are some additional benefits using a rigid PCB over the membrane style assembly. Uh, you do pick up a higher reliable product. Um, it does survive more of the harsher environments that a lot of the military and the medical applications uh, need and require by their design. And then they out, we also use higher quality components and materials as well. Um, we can meet a lot of the stack ups that we've seen with the membrane style assemblies. Um, again, we can get down to some very thin boards. Um, and I'm going to speak about some rigid and rigid flex solutions here in the next couple slides. And also, it doesn't require a metal back plate like, the, like a membrane style switch does or a plastic backing or a backing of some sort. They're self-supporting in their own uh, general design. And then we can see some reduced NRE and tooling costs as well. A lot of the dyes and, and whatnot with the membrane style assemblies are not required with the printed circuit card technology. Now I want to go on to the flex and the rigid flex uh, technologies. Again, th these have all of the same features as a rigid PCB design, but you pick up a couple extras. Um, you do have an unlimited freedom with a flex and a rigid flex for packaging geometries. These can meet. Um, if you have tight uh, bend radiuses or whatnot, they can actually be used for these solutions. Uh, they're high reliability replacement for a wire and cable harness assembly, so you can actually integrate a printed circuit card and a wire harness assembly into one unit if so is required. And it's, a, again, the ability to design that it's designed to fit into your device. As you can see down in some of the pictures below, you, we, can, we can wrap these around many different form factors and make them fit your design. <clears throat> so that concludes the PCB portion. I'm going to move into the benefits of using LED technology um, for either backlighting and or in indication um, on the de devices. Um, one of the benefits of LEDs over the incandescent bulbs is that you have an energy efficient and low power draw. Uh, you pick up roughly about an 80 to 90 percent savings in the energy efficiency and the power draw from incandescent bulbs. Uh, you minimize the heat that, that is produced um, from a standard lamp. And again, we can find these in very low or thin profiles. Um, so that they can meet real tight and stringent stack up requirements. Uh, they do have a high light output over the standard incandescence, and we get a more uniform backlight with an LED technology. And as everyone knows, I believe, they have a lot longer life cycle. Um, sometimes they outlast us. There's many different color choices as well in the LED technologies, and we can also meet a night vision um, compatibility that a lot, of, a lot of our military applications require. You can buy them in custom shapes, and they also have a very low emissions, electronic emissions for EMI uh, requirements, EMC requirements. And again, like I spoke of with rigid PCB, uh, they withstand many environmental conditions to include shock, vibration, again, a lot of what our <coughs> military medical customers uh, need. Another solution to, to some of the backlighting that we do here at Epic is uh, we use a fiber optic backlighting. Uh, there's some benefits to that over LEDs. Um, they're, they're very similar in the LED technology. Uh, we actually can get a, a lot thinner um, technology with the fiber optic backing. Um, we can get down to 125,000 uh, mils with, with the fiber optic uh, backlighting design. Uh, these are very flexible designs. Uh, they can, can contour along just like our flex circuits. Um, they're more efficient in regards to power, and they also reduce the components on the board by going to a single LED instead of having various LEDs across the assembly. Uh, and we can meet complex geometries and unusual shapes because, again, they, they can flex and bend along with the assembly if there's a specific requirement for that. Another solution, much like the fiber optic technology, is an electroluminescent backlighting. Um, this is relatively new in the industry. Um, again, it has the same, same benefits as 
as LED technology and fiber optics. Um, these are super thin. You can get down to seven thousandths uh, in thickness on these designs. Again, they're very flexible, and they can be, we can actually place these on top of the um, rigid PCB and dome, dome assembly that we have and place them in between a graphic overlay. Uh, very low power uh, solution as well, and they're, in very, they're available in various colors, uh, white and blue and blue-green. There's some examples there in the pictures. has a very unique look to, to the assembly as well. I'm going to move into some obsolescence support that, that EPIC can provide. Um, we do have full design capabilities um, here at EPIC. That's electrical and mechanical. We have a staff of electrical and mechanical engineers. Uh, we can perform design layouts and, and manufacture of the rigid flex and rigid flex PCB technologies that we use in most of our assemblies. We can support any, any design phase of the program from concept to production. Um, if it's a napkin sketch, we can help you take it to, to manufacturing if you'd like. And we can also help with the design package um, for that assembly as well. And then in regards to the obsolescence, um, we do have customers that come to us that, that have a part that is no longer available um, or it's been replaced with something else or they just quite frankly want to move um, from one technology to another so we can provide the assistance um, and to help with the material specifications or the component um, look up for, for those devices or those assemblies. So what I want to do now is I want to just kind of run through a case study of a fairly new customer that we, we have um, just to kind of show you how we can kind of roll this all up together into one solution. So we had a customer that came to us um, that was in the middle of a redesign of the product. They had an existing um, product line that they were going to update uh, to, again to some of the newer technologies. So they had a conceptual design that they provided us. They had a couple hand sketches and, and some photographs and some things that they wanted to do. Um, they had a very small form factor. Uh, we actually had to fit this assembly into a 45,000 deep pocket. And they did have an IP68 ingress protection uh, requirement for this assembly. They wanted a higher reliability, higher reliable product than they currently had. They were using a membrane style switch technology. Um, they were only seeing about 8 to 12 months of life on this unit before their switches and buttons began to fail. And then they also wanted to move to a higher density mating connector that they had on one of their uh, secondary boards that they were going to interface with the assembly. So here's a picture of the unit here on the right that, that we produced. Um, these are the kind of the value add services that we can provide um, and have provided to this come up customer. So again, they came to us with a conceptual design, so we were able to de develop a full design package for them. Um, we also kind of went and provided them with some marketing information. We did some product renderings and whatnot that you can see down there in the lower right-hand side. And they were going to use those for some marketing and some, some, for some website photos that they were using to actually sell the product. So in regards to the small form factor requirement, we actually used a flex printed circuit card assembly um, to fit this small requirement and to meet their stack up tolerances. And then we helped them specify um, some materials and also provided some design features for the IP68 requirement. And then in efforts to provide a higher reliability product, again, we moved from the membrane style switch technology to a flex printed circuit board, um, which gives you a good bit more reliability over the life of the product. And this was done by adding some gold switch contacts on that, on that flex circuit. And then we were also able to pick up a high density mating connector. We, they had a, a 0.5 mil requirement for their exit pigtail, and we were able to provide that as well on that assembly. So to kind of summarize um, what we just discussed, um, again, Epic can support you in your design phase. Uh, we can help from anywhere from concept through production or anywhere in between. Um, we can reverse engineer a lot of the products if you come to us with something something that needs to be developed or you want to change it, we, we can help you with that as well. Um, we can consist with the update of these legacy user interface. If you have a membrane that you want to take to a printed circuit card assembly or you want to update to a rigid, rigid flex and flex uh, printed circuit card, um, or again, if you want to update any of the, the backlighting or the indication lights on these assemblies, we can do that as well. 
Uh, and, and again, we can help support the obsolescence issues that you may have with your legacy technology. So with that, I'll hand it over to Kendall. Thank you, Jim. I just wanted to take um, one minute of everyone's time while Jim is reviewing some of the technical questions that came in throughout the course of the webinar and give everyone who may not be familiar with Epic an overview of our products. Um, as Jim is focusing on here today, Epic focuses on custom build to print uh, electronic products where we add uh, significant value add engineering resources. Our core product lines being custom battery packs, flex and rigid flex printed circuit boards, um, obviously user interfaces as we've been talking about, fans and motors, uh, high-end cable assemblies, and our, our original business which was rigid printed circuit boards. Uh, to go to the next slide, uh, in, in order to support all of these product lines, we have design centers and technical support for each product line. Our battery pack and power management is located in Denver, Colorado. Our user interface division, where, where Jim is located, is in Largo, Florida. Our fans and motor business is supported out of Wales in the UK. Our printed circuit board business, our rigid printed circuit board business is here in New Bedford, Massachusetts, as well as Shenzhen, China. Our flex and rigid flex printed circuit board business is supported out of Toronto, Canada. And our cable assembly business is also supported here in our New Bedford, Massachusetts location. All of our engineering design teams are always ready to help, as Jim said, from the start of a product, a product or a redesign of a product into production. Um, and with that, I'll turn it back over to Jim one last time to review any questions. Okay, thank you very much, Kendall. Looks like I do have two questions here that I received. The first one being, uh, can Epic reverse engineer an old style membrane keypad to a printed circuit board design? Uh, and yes, we can. We, we discussed that earlier, that we can take any older membrane style switch or even a mechanical style switch technology uh, if need be and, and produce either a rigid, rigid flex or a flex PCB um, technologies. And again, if you have a space requirement or a stack up tolerance issue, we can help you with that. Then the second question that I have is where does Epic manufacture their printed circuit board technologies? And that, that actually is manufactured in our Largo facility. Uh, we do all of our design services and our manufacturing in our Largo facility um, <clears throat> to support the needs of our customers. So with that being said, I have nothing else right now, and I want to thank everybody for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon.